This is the best thing I've seen for a long time. Uh, you see that little beetle there is dead. These are lesser um, ground chafers and they hatched out in their tens of thousands last year. They're tens of thousands. That's one of them alive now. And they, they hatch out of the earth. Uh, there's a couple there dead. Caught in the act. Not quite dead. Let's remedy that. Um, look, see how many of them there are on this little, on this little piece of, uh, of uh, the tree here. There's just one little, that's what, six or seven of them. And uh, those ones are dead and dying. Uh, what they do, they fly up into the tree, hatch out, they fly up into the apple trees and they settle on these little fruitlets and they bite holes in them. And I've seen them doing it last, uh, there's another, you can see it's not running because it's dead. Uh, um, that's what, about six or seven on this little piece uh, here, but there was just one more. Uh, anyway, they caused, uh, I think, the destruction of about 30%. I was just weeping over it last year. Uh, just so many, you couldn't really do much about it. Anyway, we, um, oh, Julie, I actually did all the hard work, um, actually hit uh, the, um, the tree, there's another one that's dead, uh, hit the um, trees with a suitable insecticide spray. I'm not going to say which one it was, I'm sorry about that, but the regulations um, are so severe. But there's another half a dozen of them there. And you see them falling out. Uh, there's just dozens and dozens of them. I've just shaken about 12 or 15 of them out of the tree. Um, but anyway, we anticipated them. Um, and uh, got uh, a suitable insecticide uh, onto the, um, the the apple trees just before these uh, hatch out. And they were our number one pest last year, and they did destroy something in the region of 30%. Uh, some trees uh, which were carrying a good crop uh, basically just ended up carrying no worthwhile crop at all uh, because of the bites. The ones they bit into, they either rotted and died, or else they grew with horrible deformities on them, completely unsaleable. Um, anyway, this year we, we hit with the right stuff at the right time um, and uh, the, um, the chafer uh, bugs have flown up into the trees, they've started eating uh, and um, they have uh, died as a result of our application of pesticide. Um, sorry I can't say exactly what the uh, chemical in question was. Uh, it's one that we obtain quite legally, uh, being certified to spray. Ah, oh, that's what they do. Let's pick that apple out. That's the sort of damage that they do. That's a very, very mild case. Because they fly up and they start biting into the miniature apples. Um, then they copulate and lay their eggs and the whole thing, um, the whole cycle begins again. Uh, only this year, uh, yeah, there's another, you see that apple there, that's another uh, damaged apple that won't um, come to fruition. There's a couple more. Uh, now, yeah, and there's one more, again, damaged. So you can see uh, just from these two adjacent trees, which are trees of Lord Lambourne, that uh, uh, the problem is uh, severe to catastrophic. And if we hadn't used um, a suitable application of um, a, uh, an insecticide, uh, there's another one, then uh, we'd have just lost the crop. And I wasn't prepared for that to happen. Uh, so it just underlines the result. You need to observe your trees. Don't overdo it. Don't drench everything with poison 20 times a year. 
Uh, but you may have to make a decision to drench things with poison two or three times a year. Uh, study your pests, be willing to accept a degree of damage, obey all the local regulations and laws, keep good records. Um, but uh, you know, sometimes you just do have to make a choice. If you don't um, use some pesticide, you won't have a crop. Similar uh, principles apply in many other areas of life.